All right. Now, before I go, this is a uh, lastly to end the show. Um, Jinder Mahal posted something earlier today. Now I'm going to try to pull it up. Um, he posted something earlier today where he essentially said that uh, there's something going on on uh, July 18th, 2024. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to do this without exposing my DMs from the Brace for Impact chat. All right. So the Maharaja, Jinder Mahal, the journey continues. 2001, 15 years old, no gear, no boots, a boxing ring with some gymnastics mats to the highest of heights, still climbing. The Maharaja, July 18, 2024. So I believe that that is when he becomes a free agent. And why is that pertinent to what I'm talking about here today on uh, on Brace for Impact talking TNA wrestling? Two days later is Slammiversary. Now, if you remember Slammiversary 2020, that whole thing was built around WWE Fired's returning and we got our, our coming or debuting. So we got the WWE Fired Brigade of EC3, um, Eric Young, the Good Brothers, Heath. In 2020, that first one, it wasn't Mickey. I think Mickey James too was a part of that. So that was like there was a ton, right? Jinder Mahal is a Canadian, although from India, uh, Indian descent, but he's from Canada. Slam anniversaries in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. I mean, completely different side of the country that you know, Jinder Mahal's on, but I think Americans all think everything in Canada is the same. Um, he's a former WWE champion. He's also a complete joke as a worker. A complete nothing in the ring. But he looks the part. And he's big in India. And I know that TNA covets that market, although they have not been catering to that market for a long time. We don't see the Daisy Hit Squad you know, um, you know, uh, Gama Singh's nephew is no longer in the company or his son. I think, yeah, Gama Singh's son is no longer in the company, Raj Singh, or at least I have not seen him in a long time. Um, Bupinder Gujar, I have not seen on television in a long time. And um, Mahabali Shira, I have not seen in a long time. But I still think they do cover that market. And I think that if they're going to go for that market again, and now here, here's another, here's another thing to think about at the end of this year, WWE is no longer going to be on Sony six in India. They're moving to Netflix in India and TNA and AEW will absolutely try to get a deal on there because Sony six, Sony six was keeping TNA alive for years. Whenever they had stopped, you know, getting money, getting a rights fee from Spike TV, they lost that deal. And they were getting like next to nothing from Destination America. And then I think they were on a barter deal on Pop where they were just splitting ad revenue um, for, for years on Pop TV. Um, during those years, it was Sony 6 that was keeping the company alive. I, I think it's very possible that if, uh, if TNA wants to make a play for Sony 6 to get, to get the big money from that, because they, they, they were paying big money to WWE. And they're they're not going to be having WWE on their network anymore. I could absolutely absolutely see them bringing in a TNA, bringing TNA to that network in India, and Jinder Mahal is probably the guy to help move that along. And which means I think that we could see Jinder and like you know Shira obviously coming back and stuff like that. Them them try to like make one last run at that Indian market. Uh, could totally see it. The problem is, is that like outside of Sony six, there's no money in, in the Indian market. Like you're not getting any money from like YouTube and stuff like that from there. You're definitely not going to go tour there because if you go tour there, you're going to lose your ass unless it's a sold show. So unless like, a, like a sponsor is willing to, to bring you in and pay for everything, you're, you're probably not going to go tour there. Um, and I think WWE kind of gave up on touring there a long time ago. So, um, but yeah, uh, I, I think I could see it. I'm not that happy about it, <laughs> but I, I, I think it's uh, not only a possibility, I would say that it's a probability that, uh, that this guy, the Maharaja 
uh, makes it to Slam Anniversary on July 20th in Montreal. Billy asks, isn't SmackDown being broadcast in India in 2025? I believe, and I could be wrong. We might have to look this up for the next uh, the next pod. Maybe I'll ha- maybe I'll have it looked up for overtime tomorrow. But as far as I know, everything WWE outside of the country, um, and then there's a few markets. Um, there's a few markets, but no, Netflix is getting everything WWE, like the entire WWE network, SmackDown, Raw, NXT, everything outside the U.S. And then in the U.S., they're going to have Raw. And of course, Raw is going to be everywhere in every market, but Raw will be the only one so far that's in the U.S. market. Um, with SmackDown being on USA, the pay-per-views being on the cock and uh, NXT on CW. But outside, outside of the U.S. and all the international markets, to include the U.K., um, Netflix is going to be a one-stop shop for WWE. That is my understanding. <clears throat> If I'm wrong, I'll try to look this up. And before I record overtime tomorrow night, I might have to correct the record. But I believe that's the case. But all right, guys. Well, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Thanks to Lucha and Billy in the chat. Thanks for being Patreon subscribers. And uh, thanks to everybody for submitting their mailbag questions. I greatly appreciate it. Really helped the show go by. I'm trying to do more of these. I'm going to try to do a call-in show here pretty soon, too. I'll let you guys have your voices be heard. But that is going to do it for me this week. And until next time, mahalo.